Welcome to the Central Wisconsin Environmental Station, a field station of the University of Wisconsin Stevens Point. Last year we put in a large organic garden and we've been having a lot of adventures learning how to take care of it and incorporate it into our camp programs. In this video we want to give you some advice about putting your garden to bed for the winter. The first thing you can do is a couple of options. You can choose to pull your old plants like we're doing here, we're going to feed this broccoli to our chickens, or you can choose to leave the plants in the ground and pull them in the spring. Pulling them in the fall gives you the advantage of giving a nice flat surface to put on a lot of compost like we're going to talk about later in the video. Leaving them in the ground has the advantage of helping to keep your soil nice and aerated and when you pull them out in the spring, um, the soil will be turned over and be less work for you. Also, if you have a legume crop such as beans or peas, it can be really valuable to leave these roots in over the winter and then till the roots into the soil in the spring because that helps add extra nitrogen. Another thing that helps add extra nitrogen is putting on compost onto your garden beds. This we got from our kitchen composter and we're just spreading it nice and evenly. This helps add um, nutrients such as nitrogen and carbon to the soil and the microbes help continue to break this down over the winter. You also have the option of adding fresh manure on some beds. Now you would never want to add fresh manure onto your plants when they're growing in the summer because it would kind of burn them and it, they would die. But this will break down over the winter and some crops actually really like growing in manure that's been spread the previous fall. The reason we put compost on some beds and manure on others is that different plants have different preferences for how long they like their manure to have broken down. Another layer you can add to your compost lasagna, which is these layers of compost that we're going to be making on our beds, is cardboard. Now you want to make sure to remove any plastic such as labels or tape that won't break down in the soil. Flatten out the cardboard so it's just one layer thick and then you can lay it on top of your compost or some people choose to lay it underneath the compost. What this does is add extra carbon to the soil. You can work around perennial plants such as this oregano and the rest you can just kind of put to your liking. And this also helps to keep the weeds down in the spring and helps keep nutrients from splashing out of your garden bed if it rains over the winter. A third layer you can add to your compost lasagna is straw or you can use um, shredded leaves such as maple leaves or birch leaves that you can rake up from the woods or your yard. You put this on pretty thick to keep in the moisture to help those soil microbes break down the whole thing. And the final product is a nice layered lasagna-like looking uh, mound that you get on top of your garden bed. Most of this will break down over the winter. Some of it, if it doesn't break down, you can just brush it aside in the spring, plant your crops, and then use it to mulch them throughout the summer. You also have an option of extending your growing season with some easy to make hoop houses like we made here from just plastic sheets, a few bent poles, and some office clips. And this video was made on November 16th in central Wisconsin. And as you can see inside of here, even after several hard frosts, we still have some kale growing. It's looking a little wilty, but it's still edible with some strawberry spinach. And we also have a hoop house with some lettuce in it. We also have an old display case that we put over a bed of spinach that has kept that spinach nice and green. And we've been eating a lot of salads from this in the last few weeks. If you're interested in learning more about putting your garden to bed and extended season growing, you can check out The New Organic Grower by Elliot Coleman, which is where a lot of these ideas came from.